last hammer. This should finish the job. Everyone ready? On its leg. Heads open. Now's our chance. Gotta go after it. Get it! 
There, on its legs.
sir. Outpost. The seismic readings just went crazy. What happened? It's a remnant the size of a building. What? At least you made it and kept that thing away from the outpost. Nice work. Sent his go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Gil's been asking if you can come by. Trade swear words. Really? That's what you asked him about. A completely different tech base. You start. There. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. 
Your ship's layout confuses me. Bridges four, engine rooms aft, med bay starboard. Smart stuff. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Am I interrupting? Nope. I go the way the wind blows. You're here now, so you're the wind. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Maybe if we get a break from duty. A little distraction can be useful. Let yourself wander a bit. You might come back sharper. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. I did not like the look of that Archon. Maybe the Angara will let me pitch a ten on Aya for the duration. You'd let a bone-faced blowhard like that deprive you of my scintillating company. That blowhard hates you now. If you're not careful, he might deprive me of your company. <sighs> All right. Next time, keep him on the line. I might have something to say. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Tracking a remnant architect. The one we fought ended up in orbit? Amazing.
It'll work against lighter weapons fire. Please find you to visit our merchants in the Nexus Commons. Residents are still mourning the loss of Gene Garson. The initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the scourge. An official tribute is planned, though Director Jaron Tan has provided a few details so far. Without Gene, we wouldn't be here. But now that we are here, we need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. This is HNS. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um... My work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just ask for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Mom was practical. Living in denial wasn't going to solve anything. Yet Alec didn't see it that way. He persisted. Logic goes out the window when your wife is dying. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway... The right type of implant, joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse. 
The Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Ryder, Barlabon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Welcome back, Sarah. Dr. Aradana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the... Sam? Malicious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Detecting to countermand malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction, or... Sam? You trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me. Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus. Specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. You'd need a crack AI programmer to create a virus like that. Yes. Only my unique adaptions prevented permanent damage. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. This is cat DNA? Are you sure the scan isn't contaminated? Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never! I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced, but why? Hmm, I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti, complaints to Tan, perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around.
detecting Pathfinder Ryder. Hi there. Hey, excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Vina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed into your head. Who am I talking to right now? A friend. Our movement sent the virus to save you. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? The disconnect was very sudden. I'm grateful, just woozy. It'll pass. See, this is what our movement's all about, stopping. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. And she'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. And she might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. A whole movement of AI-hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human-AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. Could we chat? You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Everyone's really working to get the Nexus on its feet. Regardless. The worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it, still... That's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Gil, you missed your appointment. Again. Had a good reason. Which was? When I remember it, I'll tell you. I don't think she would.
this system from Havaru. It looks so small from here. Anomaly detected. Getting a scan. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Sending the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think his... Something you don't see back home. Bringing us in. operational here. It is beautiful, but the wilds can also be deadly. Jarl, what are you doing here, in the company of these people? Kiran, this is Pathfinder Ryder, from a long way away. Ryder, Kiran Dals, lead scientist at Darpanev. I am honored to meet you, as a representative of the Andromeda Initiative. Are all their people this formal? I don't think so. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? 
While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. Are they still alive? Vitals remain steady and neural patterns resemble those exhibited in deep sleep. We subjected them to various stimuli, injections of Kachari, nothing worked. Let Ryder try. She's worked at the remnant tech inside a vault. Or so she says. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis and it may happen again. Need something? Jal said he worked for the Moshai? Not I, but many of the team that was sent to the Monolith are her students. If we can't save her people, I don't think I could ever face her again. We'll find a way to help them, Kira. I promise. Tell me more about the stasis that's taken out your team. We don't know what started it, and it's the first time any of us have heard of something like this happening. The team sent out there studied monoliths before. At least half of them worked with Moshai Sefer. They were just doing their job when the stasis hit. Now it's like they're frozen in time. Nothing will wake them. Stimulants, loud noises. They show no reaction to sensation or pain. I should get going. Be careful. I heard the advisory that you'd be out here. You didn't prepare me to meet you. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to do. I'm ready to prove my people are good allies. A strong statement that doesn't answer my question. My name is Rochelle V. I'm an archaeastronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge of ages past. My goal is to find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be Angara worlds you don't know about? That's what I was trying to learn. Then this happened. I was away when the disaster struck. I thought my home was destroyed, and all my research with it, but I just learned part of the building survived. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. These house guests, I assume they're of the hungry variety? The structure has become a breeding ground for insects and predators. Too many to face alone. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll remain in contact with you by com. Thank you for this. No transports available. Emergency support for cat attacks. All of them. Activating automated forward station deployment. 